welcome to this week's episode of Drinking with Goosebumps. Today, we are doing Goosebumps number 44. Say cheese and die again. Oh, that's an exclamation point, not a question mark. Yeah. Sorry. Say cheese and die again! Ned, why don't you uh, give us a synopsis on this bad boy? Okay, nope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Sour ball. That's what Greg calls his English teacher, Mr. Sour. He's a real grouch. And now he's just giving Greg a great big fat F on his oral report. Yeah, <laughs> oral. I wonder what he got on his <laughs> anal report. <laughs> it's not too good. Yeah. On his oral. He didn't believe Greg's story about the camera Greg found last summer, about the pictures it took, about the evil things that happened. Poor Greg. He just wanted to prove old Sourball wrong. But now that he's dug up the camera, bad things are happening. Really bad things, just like the first time. Sounds great. Before we start this little book review, let's throw it over to Amy and find out what we're drinking for this book. Amy? Hey guys, today's shot is the not again whiskey, tiki syrup, lime juice, orange bitters. Yum. Back to you. Say cheese and die. Again. Okay. I thought that was going to be way worse. Meet our protagonist. Well, we've already met him. His name's Greg and he was... Meet, meet our protagonist. A year Again. later. Greg is in Mr. Sour's class, and he's giving a true story presentation. And what does Greg make his true story about? He tells the time he and his friends found the evil camera from Say Cheese and Die, and, and all the shenanigans that took place. Well, of course, Mr. Sour gives him a big fat F, says this isn't a true story, this is made up tripe. A camera that always predicts a horrible future, very intriguing. Does that mean I get an A? No, that means you get an F. But. But Mr. Sour. Greg is all like, you can't fail me. And Mr. Sour says, well. Too um, late. Yeah, unless you can prove your story's real. And then Greg gets the bright idea to go back to the old Kaufman house and find the camera just so he can pass English. Even though he had a, like a horrible, whole book's worth of horrible things happening, including his friend Sherry disappearing and people getting hurt and uh, dad the, almost dying in a car Toyota, accident. Or the Taurus? The Taurus. Four Taurus. Taurus! Now there's an American car with exactly what we've been looking for. Taurus! Now there is a personal car that has exactly what we've been looking for. For all of us who will not compromise, Ford listened. Ford created Taurus for us. Taurus! And so Greg gets the bright idea to go back to the, the Kaufman house, the old abandoned Kaufman house, find the camera and bring it to Mr. Sour. Re-enter his friend Sherry. So he starts telling her his plan and how upset he is that he's gonna fail. She's reminding him of all the bad shit that happened. Don't you remember how dangerous that camera is? All the horrible things it did? It made me disappear. I gotta get to school. I'm not letting you go. Greg decides that night on his way home, he's gonna go find the camera He's gonna sneak out. Theoretically in its same hiding spot in the wall. In the old Kaufman house basement. Yep, and yep. Uh, he goes home, eats dinner. Well, eats dinner. He's so nervous, he can't even eat dinner. His and brother, this just because it's key, his brother Terry has started working at Kramer's Photoshop and is he develops film anymore. Yep. Watch out, I'm late for work. Late? Terry, you were late yesterday, too. Come on, you gotta learn how to be on time. You're gonna get fired. Greg takes his bike and he bicycles at night to the old Kaufman house. And in classic R.L. Stein fashion, uh, cl chapter cliffhanger, but the house wasn't there. And it turns out the old Kaufman house has been purchased and demoed completely. And it, you know, there's including the entire basement, all of the concrete's been taken up. away. Yeah, there's nothing left. Uh, you know, there's random shingles and shit all around. As Greg is digging through some of the rubble and kind of looking around, he hears behind him, "I got him! I got you!" He turns around and meets this boy named John, whose dad bought the house. Doesn't no have an H. Yeah, 
And John, John's like, oh, there's been some kid down the street stealing lumber from the, from the site. And, uh, and Greg goes, well, I'm, I'm looking for this camera, you know? Oh, it's, it's probably in the dumpster. Yeah, we saw it. Is it an old it. camera? Yeah, oh, have yeah. you seen it? Yeah, I think we threw it in the dumpster. And Greg immediately climbs into the dumpster and starts rooting around for the camera. Yellow eyes are staring at him. Cliffhanger. But it's a dead raccoon. But right next to the raccoon is the camera. So he grabs it, hops out. Presumably infected with rabies is the camera. Well, I, covered in dead raccoon. Covered in dead raccoon guts or something. And he puts his face up to it. Um, He's like, ah, oh, the camera, hooray. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet we better check. John John says, oh, we better check with my dad make sure about this. Uh, make and so, sure it's... And, and Greg, Greg's like, well, what? You threw it away. Oh, he, yeah. And but... he's like already anticipating that he's going to try to take it from him. He's got it up, which they overused the fighting over the camera and it going off. They did it like, I know they did it at least twice. twice. Random so, shot wheel. Doesn't. Is it, is it not me? God damn it. <laughs> um, I like to savor it. I could hear the in your throat. It was gross and kind of hot. <laughs> and, and so in the struggle over the camera, the camera goes off and takes a picture of John. <gasps> as, as the picture slowly starts to develop, it's John screaming in agony. Pain, like, holding his foot with a giant carpenter's nail through it. A nail through, it. through his foot. And I, and it's I, like, wow. So we just had back to back a dead raccoon and a nail through a kid's foot. And I was like, what series am I reading right now? So and so John runs off to go get his dad. And what does he fucking do? Steps foot, on a nail. Foot right in a nail. And I was just like, and they're like, they say he's like bleeding out and they're getting towels. Yeah, there's was like, blood everywhere. Yeah, I'm I was like, like well, you probably don't have that much blood. Well, that's there. what I'm saying. So, but still, I was just like, this is like a little bit more yeah. advanced. Yeah, yeah. This is we're in like young adult territory now. So he's got the camera. Let's fast forward as the book sort of does. to the next morning. Next morning, he's walking down the street. Sherry trying is... to leave school, trying to leave early to avoid Sherry. Correct. Give me the camera. No! Give it to me! There's another struggle over the camera. It goes off. And again, again. Again. Takes a picture of Sherry. Except this picture is like a weird... Negative. A, a negative it's, of the picture. Yeah, it's not a correct picture. And, and they're like, oh, well, maybe the camera's broken. And so Sherry takes the camera. And she's like, I'm going to get you, and takes one of Greg. Yeah, and Greg's all, oh, no. And Sherry's like, well, if you're so upset about it, that's why you shouldn't be taking the camera to school, mofo. I think you're OK. The camera must be broken. Are you nuts? Well, if it's broken, you wouldn't mind me taking your picture. The picture that develops of Greg is him with 400 pounds of weight added. Just eight chins. And it ends with Greg thinking, if only I had listened to her. Which I think falls in that rule of something that getting worse. Made up. Yep. So that's a shot. For who? For everybody. <sighs> and then goes home, next day wakes up, and his pajama <laughs> buttons are popping yeah, off. Yeah, he, he leans forward and like all the buttons on the his back, pajama just his goes back <laughs> straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he splits his pants. Yeah, and basically he looks in the mirror and he's he looks like he's gained like 100 pounds. Which, um, at this point, the book really just turns into Thinner by Stephen King. Except like the opposite Better. at first. Thinner. And Sherry, meanwhile, while Greg has gotten fatter, Sherry has gotten way thinner. She's and dropped she's, eight pounds overnight. She's wearing a black skirt with blue tights. A short black skirt over blue tights. Uh, page 79 for those of you following home. She took about four steps, then cried out as her skirt fell down. Jesus fucking Christ. This has to be an R.L. Stein, not a ghost writer. This <laughs> is a, yeah, this is a gift. So we've got a 12 year old dead raccoon, Fucking kid bleeding out and then 12 year old skirts falling down. Page 80. We both stared down at her skirt, which had fallen around her ankles. Yeah, that's what he was staring at. Yeah, Excuse me. What's your name? It's me, Greg. Greg Banks. So Greg is getting even fatter. The next day in class, Mr. Sour is so over the top 
mean to Greg. It was he's such like, a weird character change. Too. He, he was like, yeah, he went from like the weird like not nothing. He is was funny, no funny, but just like a stern like, teacher to a dick. He's like, oh, we know you can't fit in your seat, Greg, so go stand by the window. Wait, don't do that because you'll block out all the yeah, sunlight. Yeah, he's so much of a dick. The other twelve-year-olds aren't even laughing. They, they're, they're all they're, sympathetic. Meanwhile, mom and dad are so concerned about Greg's sudden weight gain that they they try to take him to the doctor. And he, so first off, dad tries to take Greg to school, but Greg can't fit in the quote Honda Civic. So we're no longer doing Ford Taurus. We're on well, Honda the Civic. Well, the Taurus got trash. But does the Honda Civic have a catchy theme song like this? Taurus. Now there's an American car that has exactly what we've been looking for. For us, for us, for us. Have you driven a Ford? So dad picks up Greg from school to take him to the doctor to address his alarming weight gain. Unfortunately, uh, page 90, he had rented a van since I couldn't fit into the car. The van couldn't pick up speed because of all the weight it carried. Me. This book is so they, brutal. They went very they went very much into like hyperbole, especially with how skinny um, Sherry gets. She's like, like she's like, it took me an hour to get here because the wind kept blowing me over. Ran a shot wheel. Ooh, that's a Ned. I think that is a Ned. <laughs> Jesus <Jeez, fuck. laughs> That's going in. I was waving to him. I eat and eat, but nothing seems to work. I weigh 10 less pounds than I did a few hours ago. At this rate, I'm gonna explode, and you're gonna vanish. Greg and Sherry are sitting around talking. They're trying to figure out how they're gonna fix the situation that they're in. They decide the best way to do this is to take another picture of each other. Yeah, maybe like another picture will reverse, like. Yeah, maybe it'll flip it, and it'll just do it. Yeah, Greg's like, well maybe I'll show up skinny in this picture. Yeah. So they, they take a picture of Greg. Because you know what cures AIDS? More AIDS. Well, you, you gotta, you you gotta double you down. You gotta double down on your AIDS and it fixes it. So they take a picture of Greg, and the picture turns out he's still fat, but like he's got like scaly skin. And then they're like, well, should we tear up the pictures and maybe that'll reverse oh, it? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And they get ready to, and it's like, but what if we disappear or we die or, or we something? get torn up. And and so they start to freak out, and Sherry's like, we just got to keep being positive. Positive. Bing. Yeah, light bulb goes off Bing. over Greg's head. Take this negative, make it a positive, and take this positive and make it a negative. So Terry swaps the photos. They go home, go to bed. Wake up the next morning. Greg is thin. Good to go. Yep. Fixed. The other thing Terry mentioned at the film shop was a random shot wheel. <laughs> Come on, Ned! Woo! Winner, winner, chicken. Dinner. Terry said, Ned, take a shot. Gotch! Bob, take one with me. Go. Oh. I'd be like, yes. Oh we, oh, we are gonna incorporate that? You wasted yours on me. For those at home that didn't remember this like me. You wasted yours on me last time. Apparently we developed another new rule where we each get one random shot to call out on somebody. In this case, Ned made Bob take a shot. And now Bob's making Jason take one with us. Oh, come on, well, what's the point? Now we're just all taking a shot. <laughs> That's just stupid. <sighs> See, I chugged mine. Well, Bob chug another one. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> By reversing the pictures, Terry was able to return Sherry and I back to normal size. And here's the camera that caused it all. Greg storms into his classroom with Mr. Sauer. He's like, hey, Mr. Sauer, and is about to take the picture. Mr. Sauer grabs the camera. He's like, oh, is this the evil camera? Let's get the whole class. Come on, everyone. Takes it, gets in. Mr. Sauer uses the camera to take a picture of the entire class. End of book. A dark ending. Dark ending. Sold. Spider! No. John! Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? 
Hello, did anyone order fresh butthole? What is this? The fucking this is, Indian in the cupboard? Say, Get the fuck exactly out of here. Say, damn it. No one will find no it one's there. No one's ever gonna look under my pillow. Nothing. It's just an You're idiot. You're gonna turn black. You're transferring to an inner city school. <laughs> you look so skinny. What happened to you? I tried to tell you. The, the Holocaust phone. happened. <laughs> oh Have you Jesus. seen my shoes? I eat and eat, but nothing seems to work. I weigh 10 less pounds than I did a few hours ago. At this rate, I'm With, with those teeth, I think it's just meth. I think that's why she's so skinny. Uh-oh, I'm getting that feeling. Oh, I think you just lost another breath. I thought she pooped. I did too. I had a feeling this wasn't a good idea. You become a lesbian woman in her I, 40s. You no, know, I was gonna say, you became a gym teacher, a female gym teacher. <laughs> Uh. Well, that was the episode Random Chat Wheel. Come on, another Ned would be hilarious. Oh, Bob. Bob. Got a Bob. Got a Bob. That's good. We'll tell you when it's good. It's not random, pick your own amount of shot. Okay, okay, okay. Let's mark the shot glasses for future use, because I don't want the one that Bob like inserted a quarter of the way into his mouth. Please don't! Oh. Look at this. That's that's quite amusing. But the episode ending was a little more satisfying because the teacher you actually saw what happened. Well the it. teacher actually got the picture taken of him, not him taking it of the class, which I felt a little robbed of in the end of the book, because the teacher was such a dick. In the end of the episode, the teacher, Mr. Sauer, gets his photo taken of and then proceeds to lose all of his hair. Guys, I'm gonna give this book a 10 out of 10. This book was phenomenal. It was so entertaining. We haven't gotten an entertaining Goosebumps in forever. I give it a seven, but you are right in the entertaining and the bits of darkerness I a like. seven? This book is so good. You guys are crazy. This book is so good. I give it an eight and a third. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah. Before before you tell us about the next book, I was rooting around looking for stuff in the house. Look what I found. Uh, my original official Goosebumps fan club. I had one of those. Membership. I'll have to get an up close to this. And my uh, Goosebumps Express gold, the cold cash card with uh, the mummy from the mummy book, whatever the fuck that was. And I was like, oh, look at this. This, you know how old this is? I got this in like 95, 96, still have it. Bob, what are we looking at for book number 45? Ghost camp. Oh, I'm actually really excited Be about Be all this that you can't see. Well, everyone, I'm Jason. Congrat I'm not Jason. Yeah, I'm not either. <laughs> Fucking congratulations, I See guess. you next time. This has been Drinking with Goosebumps. I went over top. Great. <laughs>